The Corps' sponsorship was nearing the end of the term for the mailing-operated team and the Elliott family entity that started from little more than encouragement and later the much-needed financial backing of Harry Melling. The small hometown of Dawsonville, Georgia, was now on the map to many Americans who before may not have known much of the northern Georgia mountains, and Bill Elliott was faced with difficult options, not only that impacted his future, but the futures of his family and close hometown companions as well. It was a challenging time in his life. Bill looked to close companions and icons in the sport for resolution and found peace in his commitment to drive for Junior Johnson and Ford from 1992 to 1994. The first year was outstanding with Tim Brewer on board as crew chief. He and Bill seemed to click as teammates from the very beginning, winning four out of their first five races of the season in a row in 1992, as well as the season finale at the Atlanta Motor Speedway. But a miscommunication between Johnson and Brewer during the offseason set a turn of events into play that caused an upset of the championship caliber team and a complete team overhaul before the 1993 season began, and the team never claimed the same success or performance again during the next two seasons, with Mike Beam as crew chief winning only once more during the final two-year term of the partnership. Bill's disappointment led him to what the new era of racing was presenting to many drivers at that time, which was an opportunity to become driver owners and control your own destiny. In other words, when you had a winning combination, you didn't fear an owner taking your team apart. That option seemed tantalizing to Bill, and he embarked on a six-year sponsorship with McDonald's, again from his hometown of Dawsonville, Georgia, but soon realized that the racing operation would expand to Statesville, North Carolina, to be competitive in this day and time during the 1995 to 2000 era. Are some of you familiar with the old adage, the grass is always greener on the other side? 